I remember one day I was just, um, I think it was a day that we uh, came back from one of the interrogations. Um, I went to the cell, my cellmate was there, she was around 50, 60 years old, and I just felt completely blank. I couldn't feel God's presence. And it was really the first time after I gave my heart to Jesus that I couldn't feel anything. I couldn't feel God was there. I couldn't hear his voice. And I think that was the, the scariest moment in my life. Uh, nothing was scarier than that. And I just, I didn't know what to do. And I felt like I couldn't breathe. And I remember just, I lay down and I felt like I needed to sing. And in that, you know, in that security building, you are not really allowed to even speak loudly. Um, but I felt like I needed to sing like some worship songs. And I started, I remember I started with singing in tongues and then sang some worship songs loudly, you know. And my, I remember at the beginning, my cellmate was so scared and she was saying, Mariam, please be quiet. They will come and they will punish you. But I just, I kept singing and I, I remember after singing like maybe for uh, 10 minutes, I could feel that th that cell was full of God's presence. And later my cellmate told me that I could feel the presence of God. And she even asked me to teach her some of those worship songs. I learned something that day and I, God really spoke to me and He really reminded me that I am always with you even though you don't feel my presence.